we want to find the area of this triangle and it also says assume the triangle has an obtuse angle so this angle right here is greater than 90 degrees. Okay, in order to find the area of a triangle we want one half the base times the height but remember the height has to be a line that is perpendicular to one of the sides so let's drop a line down here from that vertex and there would be a height so the area of this triangle would be one half the base which is 25 times the height but how are we going to find that height well we now have two right triangles but in each right triangle I've only got one piece of information I got 40 degrees in this triangle no other sides or angles in this other right triangle I've got 18 as one of the sides no other sides or angles and so I'm going to have to use the law of sines and find out another angle so I have an angle side opposite a pair that's the 40 and the 18 so we know the sine of 40 degrees over 18 is going to equal the sine of I'll call it alpha and that's this angle right here over 25 now remember when we use our calculator to do inverse sine it is only going to give us answers on the right half of the circle and since it's positive it's going to give us an answer somewhere here in quadrant one that is not going to be an obtuse angle so when we find that angle we're going to have to then find a second angle this is an ASS triangle and that's there's two possible triangles and we need the second one with the obtuse angle well let's go ahead and first find that acute angle so we're going to multiply both sides by 25 here and then we're going to grab the calculator and alpha is going to be the inverse sine of 25 sine 40 degrees over 18. So let's put that in the calculator. It looks like we get about 63.2 degrees. So that's this angle right here, 63.2 degrees. We now need to say where is there another angle that has that same sine value and we know in quadrant two sine value is also positive looking at this picture if I did 180 and I subtracted off that angle of 63.2 I would have the obtuse angle so I need uh, 180 minus the 62 63.2 and I get 116.8 so this was alpha 1 and alpha 2 is 116.8 and that's the one we want here because we need the obtuse angle. Okay, now as I look at this, what I really want is something in this right triangle and so I can get this third angle now because I have 40 degrees and I have 116.8 so I can subtract those from 180 and I'll have that smaller angle there. It looks like it's 23.2. Well that's enough info now to get me a connection between H and 18 and that angle and that will give me my height. So I'm going to write it over here. I have that right triangle and the sine of 23.2 degrees is opposite which is H over hypotenuse and the hypotenuse over here is 18. So my height is going to be 18 sine of 23.2. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that in right over here where I needed the height. So I've got 18 times sine of 23.2. Now I'm going to put this in the calculator then and that should give me and I'll round to one decimal place the area of this triangle and it looks like to one decimal place I get 88.6